Good morning everyone, this is another session on Vedic Astrology and we will be discussing a sample horoscope and we will be discussing uh, this person is doing uh, well in his life and uh, is very successful also and the person uh, also had a love marriage and uh, the marriage also was very good so I thought of taking the you know the, the person's horoscope so that you know we will we can see as to how the lines are the person is also quite famous and uh, the person has attracted uh, lots of wealth and uh, the person in general is uh, also doing well and uh, now let us look at the chart now in in uh, the house numbers are fixed and the sign number sign number 10 sign number 10 then 11 12 so uh, you know uh, uh, we, if we look at the chart now the interesting part what I found is that you see at his uh, seventh house seventh house sign number four is present okay and Venus is present in the seventh house this this is a really good placement for Venus and uh, another interesting thing is that in house number five okay so equi equi uh, sorry uh, sign number two is Taurus okay so sign number two is Taurus and then sign number four is Cancer so actually the Lords of the fifth and the seventh house have exchanged positions okay so Lord of sign number two that is Taurus has come here that is Venus and Lord of the fourth sign that is Cancer has gone to the uh, fifth house so that's a swap isn't it so whenever there is a you know uh, we'll be very clear uh, in this uh, uh, once again I'll explain what has happened is see the numbers which are written in capital are the house numbers so what has happened is that the five number and the seventh number houses the lord of those houses have exchanged positions now what has happened is that the fifth house lord fifth house sign lord we'll say so fifth house has the sign number two sign number two is taurus and uh, uh, taurus ruler is venus has gone into the seventh house now the seventh house has sign number four which is cancer and the ruler of cancer is moon which has gone to the fifth house so there's a swap and this is considered very good in terms of marriage also venus is present in its seventh house which is again a very good placement now again we can see mercury is also very well placed uh, again from the presence of venus uh, we can say uh, see venus is present in the sign of cancer uh, so we can say that the person will have a very emotional and very caring spouse okay because the presence of venus tells about your spouse now mercury look at mercury is placed in sign number three again it's a very good placement because mercury is placed in its own house that is gemini so the person will be very versatile so again these are all fortunate uh, markings again ketu is present in leo ketu is said to be you know doing well in the sign of leo sign number five is leo in eighth house so the person will be interested in occult also okay so that is uh, again sun and mars are jointly present sun and mars are kind of friends so again uh, that's fine um, you know and uh, uh, but uh, uh, then looking at other position jupiter is placed in sign number uh, you know in sign number 12 okay which is pisces so jupiter is placed again well okay saturn and rahu are placed in um, uh, you know sign number 11 which is Aquarius so that is again a good placement so yes there are a lot of fortunate uh, positions in this chart and we'll take a look at the palm also the palm had a good influence line starting so the person did uh, admit that he was in a relationship for a long time and finally he got married at the age of 29 so this age probably is 29 then there's a proper cross on the Mount of Jupiter okay there's a presence of a sun line nice sun line coming a lot of things happening from the moon so we have to if we look at the chart look at the position of moon then we know that moon is placed in the sign of Taurus now so moon is also giving good results 
and also the presence of cross here indicates towards a love marriage also an influence line going and joining the fate line indicates towards a good marriage also the marriage line was straight and uh, it didn't have any split or anything so it's again good the person is very emotional because the heart line was going up and the person was also having a long headed uh, because the line is long person is quite logical and quite versatile uh, the versatility has come again because mercury is placed in its own house of gemini so hopefully you understood uh, you know how to look into astrology and palmistry parallelly and in this case the love marriage happened because the fifth house sign lord exchanged its position with seventh house sign lord also because venus was present in its own house so there's a lot of fortunate things in this chart we'll be discussing more points in the future videos for now uh, hopefully you understood that there is a lot of parallelism between palmistry and astrology this is just a sample chart we'll take more readings in time to come thank you take care bye bye